Ferg used to tell me I only had this one summer, 68, 69, I had to get the kids quickly. So he said, I'm going to show you a trick to get you into these kids. They'll follow you anywhere. You take a nail, you put it between your, your hands like this, and you drive it through a two by four. But you have to see it going all the way through because if you hesitate at the last minute, just get a little, you're going to wipe your hand. And I said, hey, I'm cool. I was the Rose Bowl two years. I can do this. Give me the nail. Put it in there, and I wiped my hand out. It took me a month to recover. I said, hey, any other easier tricks? That's it. Forget it. He told me one time about his brother, who was a chaplain in the U.S. Senate that died of Lou Gehrig's disease, and that he had been praying to the Lord that the Lord would take him quickly, not like the way his brother died. And he said, uh, he's assured me, the Lord's assured me that he's going to take me quickly and I won't die like my brother did. And then I found out when the Lord took him, that's exactly how it happened. He's riding a bike, and he had a heart attack. By the time the, the bike hits the ground, he's in heaven. <laughs> the Lord answered his prayer. That's two things I remember. Oh! When I went off the seminary in 1969, uh, 68, he gave me two things, though. Smith Corona 120 electric typewriter and fatherly advice. You keep this advice, you'll never have a problem anywhere in ministry. Go slow, stay low, don't blow. That's all I have to tell you. God bless you. Off I went. He's right. Whenever I've gotten in trouble, I violated the fatherly counsel. <laughs> Very good. Thank you.